Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. If you're not a big fan of LibreOffice or let's say you're just a person that's finally going to decide to finally pay for Microsoft Office uh, or maybe just use your discounted code on our past videos or stuff like that, it shows you where you can get it from discounted for less than $15. Uh, we're pretty much going to be showing at the end of this video too anyway or on the links below. Um, regardless, if you don't want, let's say if you don't want to get rid of you want to get rid of LibreOffice, then we're pretty much going to be showing you how to do this here on Windows 11. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do, we print, as you see, we have LibreOffice that's installed on the desktop. If you go to Start menu, here's pretty much the recent ones, and you can pretty much go to All Apps, and you'll see them appear on a folder called LibreOffice, and you pretty much see like the PowerPoint, presentations, the database, the Excel, and stuff like that. You pretty much understand how that is. Um, there's many different ways that you can do this on Windows 11, and I don't feel like doing too overwhelming, but there's simple ones. You can go to Start, and you can pretty much go to Settings. And then from there you can choose apps and apps and features and then you can let it load up for a second and we will scroll down until you see LibreOffice and then you'll pretty much go to the right and press the three dots and then press modifier on install if you want to do like that. Different routes in case that doesn't want to happen you can pretty much honestly this happens a lot on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Um, you can also go to start menu and do a search and you can type in control panel it takes your control panel right there and I'm not just going to take a chance to the old layout that's too old. Honestly, you'll most likely see this layout. You can choose programs or press uninstall program. And you can pretty much click the LibreOffice, double tap it, or click the uninstall. And it'll ask you if you want to uninstall it. And you get the process. It might prompt you and stuff like that. And just do the work. But for the most easiest way, you can honestly just go to start. Not clicking start, but right click on start menu. And go to apps and features. This is probably my easiest way to uninstall a program here on Windows 11. And then from there, you just let it. Scroll down and you'll see what program you want. The one that we're looking for is LibreOffice. And from there, because I wish that you can just click it, but you know, I had to make stuff difficult. You go to the right side where it has the three dots and you'll click it. And we're pretty much uninstalling, so we'll pretty much press the uninstall button. And it's gonna ask this app and related info will be uninstalled. Nah, duh. That's the whole point where we're here. And pretty much here is LibreOffice doing its process for it. And like I said on the other system that you probably be prompted and yes, it prompted us here. So we're going to go ahead and press yes and let it uninstall the program. So it looks good. I think it's pretty much almost done right now. We'll check and see if there's any shortcuts. The icon just disappeared right there. And let's see if it doesn't tell us to maybe restart or something like that. I know sometimes you might need to restart Windows because it likes to be dumb. We get, tr honestly, we can do like this and it may not ask you one time and another time it can. So here it is, it's taking a little bit, so let's see if anything happens. Alrighty, so as you believe it or not, it actually took a few seconds. It almost took about maybe about 20 seconds before it started doing this process, but it's pretty much time remaining now, and it's pretty much just cutting down as it is. Um, let's see if it finishes uninstalling. Alrighty, finally, after doing all this process and taking a little bit of time, it finally got rid of all the stuff. And I think we are done. Now, I promise to help you crazy, it's taking a little time, but it looks like it's done. So the icon disappeared right there. If we go to Start Menu, I don't see any of the recommended anymore. I'm going to go to All the Apps, and I don't see that folder of LibreOffice anymore. So I think we are good now. Now, honestly, if this does happen, you have shortcuts, you might just need to delete the shortcuts on the desktop and stuff like that. Right click and press the Delete. But. You honestly you can get to it and you should be good. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. If you are searching for a cheaper route for like a Windows 10 product key. Or maybe you don't want to pay for that monthly subscription for Microsoft Office. Then head over to PremiumCDKeys.com. From there you can choose software. And you have a variety of different type of operating system product keys you need. They even have the Microsoft Office for discounted codes that you can use to activate them too. Just choose which one you want and it'll be very useful. The one I'm going to use is go ahead and use a Windows 10 Pro product key. And they tell you instructions and stuff if you need to do the ISO that's needed and activations, how to do it. It's pretty simple. And just choose what you want. I'm going to go ahead and select Add to Cart for the Windows 10 Pro product key. And then here we are. I'm going to go ahead and go to Checkout. And you can use our discount code called Helton's Computer Repair and press apply.
This will give you a small percentage of discount that helps you and helps us too. From there, you can type in your billing information or you can use PayPal. Be sure on the contact information for the email that you do use an email that you have access to because that is where they're going to pretty much send you the product key for the activations for it. So you will need that to be done. And that should be pretty much it. Just go ahead and complete your transaction and everything should be good. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.